Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a video that should actually help you guys out. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to go ahead in Windows 7 to add a folder to your taskbar. Now, obviously in Windows 7, the taskbar is pretty similar to the uh, dock in Mac OS X. But the problem is, it's not quite as customizable. You have, pretty much, when you pick the icons, you can run out of space really quickly. Um, you can run out of space. In addition, you can go ahead and, you know, need to put folders and that sort of thing, which doesn't quite work. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that and explain it all to you and show you guys a, a pretty cool way to get around it. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay, so Windows 7, like I said, is a little bit different. Um, standardly, you just have this uh, the uh, icons, which is the way I like to have it. But the pro there's a couple problems with it. One, if you have more programs that you want to put down here than there's space, then it gets really ugly on this right side. There will be a, like a little uh, scroll bar, and you scroll it up. It looks bad, and it, it's pretty much a bad idea, I think. Um, likewise, if you want to put a folder in here, you have obviously your Windows Explorer. Um, you can go ahead and have that there and it'll launch your libraries. But the problem is if you want to put an individual folder, kind of like w with back with the old quick launch, um, you can't do that. You can't. Well, you can, but you have to right click it and then come up to the pinned bit. And, you know, that, I mean, it works, but, you know, that, that it doesn't look good and it's kind of, you know, not, not cool. So what I'm going to show, be showing you guys is actually a combo of how you can put your applications how to have more applications than you want and have a quick uh, uh, link over here as well as how to go ahead and get uh, your folders etc over here it all works the same way so anyway let's go ahead and start um, this this doesn't matter really this first bit you can do it wherever you like um, basically you just need to make a folder just make a blank folder put it somewhere I just have it in my documents and then go ahead now as you can see here I have this is for browsers so what I decided to do because I have a lot of browsers I want to have a folder to put them all in so that I, I can have all these links without taking up a ton of space okay so basically what I did was I just went and through the programs and just dragged uh, links over to this folder um, now this will work uh, pretty much however you want you can drag links over like the way I'm doing or you can just use this bit to use this folder so it doesn't matter um, you'll see what I mean in a minute, but basically either at this point you want to go ahead and drag links over to a file or you can just pick a file that you want easy access to on the side. Either way, it doesn't matter. Okay, So once we have it, just back out and come to it. Now you need to right click it, come down and hit create shortcut. Okay, So now scroll down just a little bit, we have this browser shortcut. So I'm going to drag it out to my desktop to make it a little easier to work with. Okay. So, if we want, we can go ahead and leave it like this. But, as you can see here, that might not quite look right. So, let me just quickly show you guys how to change the icon. So, just go ahead and hit Properties. Come in here and then click Change Icon. Okay. Now, you should already have this uh, uh, installed. But, if not, I'll go ahead and put this link to the in the description. Basically, it's a file filled with icons. So, basically, you can pick whatever icon you want. So, you know, you can go through here. And, basically, whatever picture little icon that you want to have on the bottom so you know what let's just for the purposes of this, of this video let's just pick um, this little check mark works for me now I will say one thing you can it doesn't quite work 100% of the time it's odd you hit apply and if you look over here all it did was clear out the folder um, what I figured out to do is just do it again just when just click it hit properties and then go ahead and hit change icon just click it one more time hit OK and hit apply again now you see that the icon changed I'm not really sure what the deal is if I guess that's just a glitch in Windows 7 not really sure um, but just do it twice and that that pretty much fixes it okay so now we have our icon it looks pretty good and obviously if you open it up we have our folder slash folder filled with icons but it can be whatever folder you like though so we have that. It works good. Um, and I will note, you might want to go ahead and, you know, edit, like, the size of the icons and stuff, you know, to make it fill out the screen better. Um, you know, you can just customize that a little bit. But once you get the basics, you know, everything else is simple from here. Okay. So once you have your sh the sh shortcut on your desktop, now it's time to go ahead and put it down here. Now, obviously, 
if you try to drag just drag it down here like this see it just tries to come over here we don't want that that I mean that just kinda looks dumb so we gotta use a little bit of a different method so what I want you to do is right click down here and hit lock the toolbar so it's going to be unlocked Oops. Well, if I can click it right okay there we go so now come up to the top hit toolbars and then come over and click links okay so now we see we have a little bit of a links toolbar looks pretty ugly right now but that's okay Okay, so I already have this but I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and show you guys what it looks like again anyway okay so we can go ahead and just drag this out just a little bit so we have plenty of room now this is really simple just go ahead and grab your browsers or well, whatever folder it is anyway grab the shortcut and drag it into the links okay so now it, we have it down there technically it works but let's clean it up a little bit so let's go ahead and right click it okay now you'll see show text and show title we don't want either of these so go ahead and click show text that won't be there anymore and then show title that won't be there anymore so now we have it um, now there's two different ways you can do it from here you're pretty much done but it, it this mostly comes down to preference um, obviously you can drag it back but there's it, it's not quite 100% working. Um, you can have it as a small icon like this. So let me just go ahead and drag it over here, which is this is actually the way I like it. So you can have a little icon right there. If that's the way you want to go, that's fine. Um, there's also large icons, which you would think would be the right way, but it doesn't quite work. Let me show you. So if you hit large icon, at first that looks great, but if you look over here, like all these programs, I'm not so sure you guys can see it, but we're just bumped up maybe like 10 pixels or whatever. Um, the whole taskbar looks a little odd. Maybe like if you see, look at the clock, it's a little taller. Um, you know, if you look here, like here's the Cam Studio. If you look on the bottom, you can see a little strip of blank, and that's kind of a little downside. For some reason, the links when when you add a large icon link, it kind of bumps it up. So, you know, that kind of comes down to personal preference whether you guys mind that or not. Personally, I do kind of mind it. So what I like to do is I just have it small icons. I just lock up the taskbar and I'm done. So guys, that's pretty simple. Now you have a folder, and obviously you can add more than one. You have a folder which can be full of applications like this, or it can be just any folder you like. Maybe you know it's something that you like to get to real fast, but you don't really want to have to use Windows Explorer because you know that's that's handy to you know just open up your libraries. So anyway, guys, that's how to add folders uh, to your taskbar in Windows 7. Hopefully it helps you out. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure it out, but it, it's pretty handy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.